What Hello. would you like to touch on today? So, futures, futures close, close out. out. We had 22 billion rand passing through the market today. Now, that's fantastic. That sounds excellent. But uh, the question that people ask is what exactly is futures close out? And that's a good question. So, for those that are uninitiated by such things, this is where the big institutional players have largely taken derivative cover in order to protect long term insurance portfolios. Okay, what does that mean? People who are managing pensions are concerned that the bottom might fall out of the market and accordingly they would be in a dire situation vis-a-vis -vis their obligations. So what they do is they go into the futures market and buy insurance against markets going down below a certain level. The way the futures market works is it gets closed out every quarter. So every quarter you have one of these days where all of those contracts get rolled one into the next. Okay, but I, mean, I was talking to Nicholas Saroy and he was saying that he's surprised that it didn't go to 31,000 points and he was expecting that they would try and manipulate the market to get into yeah. that level. I mean, Futures close out in the old days always used to be a day when the market went higher because there tended to be people that were net needing to buy in positions and that caused markets to go higher. But lately they've been a bit of a damp squib. And here's the thing, I think in fact in future they're going to be an enormous damp squib or non-event. Why? Because a lot of the booking action is in fact just people squaring things away and so on. And it turns out that the government has just announced that proprietary traders are going to have to pay marketable securities tax which has got all the tra futures traders in a uh, real state of quandary because it could make trading single stock futures and contracts for difference and everything else much more expensive. So and I suspect there the could be a bit of a wipe well. out there. Yeah. Okay, so as Apple hits over $600 a share mm. for the mm. first time mm. ever, 55% of blue chip companies in the Eurozone <laughs> missed earnings expectations, Paul. Forget about those Europeans. Let's talk about Apple. It's the most valuable company in the world. It's now totally eclipsed ExxonMobil. So we can talk about it every day because it goes up every day. $600 a share. Do you know that this stock is up by nearly 50% year to date? And we're only, yeah. what is the date? It's like the 15th of March or something. As so. a consumer, I'm speaking as a consumer now, given the fact that it's got such strong cash on its balance sheet, yes. it is so profitable. Why is it so expensive to buy an <laughs> Apple product, Paul? Look, the margins on these things are fantastic. What the American company Apple, based in California, has worked out is a way to design these things, have them manufactured all over the world, including in places like Foxconn, where they pay them one mug of tea and a biscuit every three days, to manufacture these devices in these incredible, uh, you know, sort of workflow situations, and sell them for margins that are very impressive and, and expanding. Two, and the best thing is, with Apple, with any technology, that in two years or even one year, it'll be obsolete. And you have to get a new one. And you have to get a new one, and you pay to have to. It's such a great Because you can't look like an idiot with your friends by having like last year's model. I mean, that's totally out. So I mean, it is an incredible business. And you know that the iPhone 5, which is the next device which is coming is going to be co-sold in China and there are like 600 million cell phone customers in China all of whom are totally bling obsessed I mean that's why they're trading at $600 a share it's almost unstoppable incredible etc fantastic Paul thank you very much sir, for joining us I, I was there anything else you wanted to talk on I yes know you, hot stocks as people may know I'm now appearing mm. on hot stocks they yeah. call me the resident expert what a great title hey what a great job title and tonight we're talking about the insurance sector companies like Old Mutual and so on and so forth, all of which I hate. The other guy who's coming on, Jonathan DeToy from Truffle, he loves the insurance stock. So you can tune in at 8 o'clock and see me fight with him about the insurance sector. Fantastic, Paul. Thank you so very much for those insights. Paul Teron from Vestac.